Let me say that again. <clears throat> I can't change the direction of the wind, but I can adjust my sails to always reach my destination. Welcome to day six of our 12 day mental well-being challenge powered by six seconds. My name is Mucha Mulingo, emotional intelligence coach, and I'm happy to be your host again this morning. Have you ever considered that you are a billion dollar asset? You are complex, intricate, and unique. The psalmist says, fearfully and wonderfully made. A combination of spiritual, physical, emotional, social, and mental spheres, all of which are crucial to your overall well-being. And yet, how often do you take time to ensure that you are servicing each of these parts of yourself? Each of these dimensions contributes to your success at work and ignoring any, failing to pay attention to tune in and make corrections if necessary is a recipe for disaster. We'll service our cars like clockwork, but we shy away from taking the time to go for an annual physical. And we're definitely not going to consider asking for help if we're feeling overwhelmed or anxious. And let's not use that D word because that's a sign of weakness, right? Wrong. A billion dollar asset will erode in value very quickly if it's not looked after. And a key part of looking after any asset is taking it for a regular service. To keep a car going, you have to fill it with petrol, check the oil and water regularly, and give the tires some air. Servicing is key. But how often do we take the time to reflect on whether we're giving ourselves what we need to flourish and live well? May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Thank you for joining me on this journey as we take time to service our billion dollar asset and pay attention to our mental health. Today, our focus is on optimism. Optimism is a mental attitude characterized by hope and confidence in success and a positive future. Optimists are those who expect good things to happen, whereas pessimists instead predict unfavorable outcomes. There is evidence that optimistic thinking is correlated with better mental health. Optimistic attitudes are linked to a number of benefits, including better coping skills, lower stress levels, better physical health, and higher persistence when pursuing goals. Our culture has a lot to say about optimism, and a lot of the rhetoric seems to focus on this idea of silver lining. It's helpful for sure. Neuroscience has a lot to say about focusing on the positive in life. And optimistic people are likely to have healthier self-esteem relationships and they are better leaders. However, this sunny side up ideology is only really useful when you're already in a good mood. It's, it's great to boost the attention of the great stuff going on in your life. But let's admit it, most of us need help with optimism when we're on the opposite side of the spectrum, when life gets rough, when we're feeling stuck, when we can't seem to get out of our destructive thought patterns. What do we do then? How do we tap into a glimmer of hope? How do we even begin to envision the rainbow at the end of this persistent rain? At six seconds, we believe optimism is a skill, the ability to see options. Here is a simple exercise, our challenge today, to help adjust the sails and practice optimism when feeling down. Think of a situation that's made you feel stuck lately, an ongoing argument with a colleague, the annoying habit of a boss, a decision that needs to be made but begs clarification. Think of something where you just feel stuck. Write down every single 
possible option or outcome for this situation. Allow yourself to feel unattached to these options and completely brainstorm. They don't need to be realistic. They don't need to be reasonable. They don't need to be achievable. Just write them down. The goal is that they be plentiful. Especially for individuals who fall into the risk adverse category, just let yourself go wild with this list. No one will see it but you, I promise. So write down every possible option, no matter how far removed from reality it may appear. When you feel as though you've exhausted every possible choice, step back and look at what you've written. Look at all of those options. Optimism is seeing all of the possible outcomes and that's what you've just done. It's fine if none of these options jumps out at you as the right one. Although I often find that when I do this exercise, the right one does come to the fore. But the act of widening your lens and considering options, even outlandish ones, fuels your inner flame of optimism. It helps to let go of the constraint of our minds and the barriers or blockage that we put on ourselves and the situation. And we might see that some of those assumptions are unfounded. Optimism is learning to navigate the challenges in a way that keeps our intentions clear and our restrictions minimized, our restraints limited. Even making a simple mind opening list helps us to hone our ability to adjust our sails and find the rainbows. So go ahead, go wild. Who knows what opportunities you may identify as a result of practicing the skill of optimism. Remember, the goal with each of these daily challenges is to build our capacity to maintain mental well-being. If you are already feeling overwhelmed and you feel you are failing to cope, it's not weakness to ask for help. Reach out and get the support you need from a professional. Thank you for joining me this morning and a big shout out to all those who will tune into this live later. Have a fabulous day ahead and here's to practicing optimism. Bye-bye.